Hello, friends. Um, welcome, of course, all of you who come and uh, visit me uh, on this Phasalus, uh, uh, I think. Um, I like to call it the Chinese lantern. That's what uh, how I learn about uh, learn it, and uh, there's a memory that uh, comes for, uh, for the inspiration of this, and well, that's with my mom. And so we'll talk about that in the actual uh, as we are painting, okay? And so um, I. Very happy the way this turned out, and there's a little bit of uh, uh, so I'll tell you where I left off, okay? So, uh, of course, I finished all three of them and the branches and a little bit of the background painting. Uh, so, and then I just uh, say goodbye and then keep going, and I just keep going and keep going and add more and more lantern. Um, uh, or the suggestion of it at the very back and so I hope you guys can see that and try to follow that and uh, all of the information of the color used and the uh, the color used and the uh, of course I'll show you the brush that we use it's not uh, nothing uh, more than just these four okay and uh, but the color use and the any information that you need will be on my on my uh, blog sunsetpeony.com and you can go over there and I finally finally link this uh, where to get this brush and uh, to uh, from Oriental Art Supply so I'm looking at this one and I have another one I'm looking at over here but you know I am uh, a strange person and so I I love this brush so much so you will see you know I did this and this uh, with this brush and then uh, so I, I might go get some more because uh, I don't know how the longevity of this brush is but I'm going to stop talking about the brush okay so I just wanted to show you guys um, uh, the uh, the final product and tell you where to get my stuff and uh, I also wanted to point out um, you know, I keep looking at it at the very end of the painting. I say, okay, we're done, right? You know, you, you will see that I say that. We're done and we're done. And then suddenly, after I'm all done, I look over there and the the watercolor had mixed some cracks over here. And I realized that, realized that the real Chinese lantern do have lines running through them. Okay? Now, I don't know how... Uh, how uh, much you can see that I'm gonna okay so I just went in and used this brush the thinnest brush finest brush that you can find with a very very sharp point okay and uh, I went in and did some of the little uh, cracks and imperfection of the Chinese lantern and uh, I uh, I think you can see that a little bit better right in the in the, uh, now you can see that that's over here and over there Okay, and so my suggestion is if you can uh, follow this, uh, of course there will be a, a follow along um, painting right there, or you can go to the internet and get any image that you can find, and uh, look carefully and uh, try to follow that too, okay? It's up to you, whatever uh, you like, and I think that is falls upon us. It's just really beautiful out there, the crimson and the quinacridone burnt orange plus the yellow ochre and the bright yellow, mingle with the green you know we can't we just can't <laughs> let that go without just completely soaking in right and so um i hope you have fun follow along and uh, i guess i will sign this and um and uh stop talking and let you guys go and um we will get painting this fun uh uh chinese lantern okay and uh uh, leave me a message if you like and uh, subscribe to me and uh, we will have a lot more fun uh, painting coming up. I also have a project. I don't want to tell you yet, but uh, it will also be fun. It has to do with uh, art and such uh, that's coming up. Okay, I will uh, let you guys go. Okay, let's get started, shall we? And uh, it will be about the same. These four nice brush that we have that I talk about it every time. And I'll talk about it as I pick them up. I just refill my uh, cadmium red medium and the cadmium yellow. I think that it is also a medium. And so I, uh, I think I have told you guys that you know I'm gonna <laughs> dab some of these uh, pencil mark off because um, uh, I like them a little lighter um, so that it won't show up as much. Now 
um, the thing to, I think I will probably mention it in the intro, the thing that we need to pay attention to is this this area that we're going to leave like this is my practice and also we have so much color and I will, you know, have uh, reconciled in my own brain what, we, what I'm going to use, okay? So this area, you know, is quite important because of the shape of the lantern, right? You want to give the uh, impression that it is flat and then it go down and around and this is you know it's almost like a peach but then you know the bottom part of it kind of stick out and so if we accomplish that you know today and uh, <clears throat> as we're painting and playing I like to call it playing around then uh, we will uh, accomplish that and we'll be very happy with ourselves um, and so that was my practice and so what I'm going to do is um, because uh, I think I have talked about this before I actually um, I, I just show you that I uh, went in there and so I just pick up some yellow paint and I'm going to just um, from this area on just paint this uh, put a big slab of uh, yellow color why is that because yellow and red go very well together um, if there's uh, um, something that is red that you wanted to paint not every time not every time I have to say that but a lot of time if you have a, a base color of yellow it uh, just make the red look so much more vibrant even though it really is red and not an orange painting that you're trying to accomplish okay and so what you see me doing right here is I need to pick up a little bit more paint because the paint was uh, slapped down the beginning right there and so what I'm going to do is I need a little bit more pigment and a little bit more you know I usually like I think I've told you that I for myself my preference is I really like to um, use uh, paint when they are very very dry on the palette so I don't clean out my palette every time I am like actually I know that most uh, most uh, artists don't do that they just leave the color there because you know the with watercolor you you use it and then you um, and then it dry and then you can uh, re-wet the, um, the area and then you can use it again right and I, I don't think that that is a you know a surprise to you by now you probably know that and so I have you know things that are drying here and today I'm going to I once upon a time I put a little bit of um, Oh, sorry. A little bit of a red color next to some quinacridone burnt orange. I'm going to try to not not use quinacridone burnt orange, but I will use that red that's next to it. So there might be some orange from the quinacridone burnt orange that you know. So what I'm doing is I'm just softening the edge over here. Okay. Mm, you know this seems like it is quite intense, but I'm just gonna you know not have to worry about it. So it will look make the make the Chinese lantern look a little bit more. Um, what do you call that? Okay, I'm gonna dip in some medium and just keep uh, painting while I'm talking. It will make the these uh, Chinese lantern flower appear more um, orange color, which is uh, one of the reason why they're so pretty. Um, you know, I, I don't know that if we actually have this, uh, I know that I have people um, coming to this channel from Hong Kong and so far uh, two of them has uh, initiated to talk to me and so I, I'm very happy, you know, because I, I miss and I really love Hong Kong and uh, now, uh, so if you guys are from Asia or Hong Kong, you can correct me, I have never seen um, these, these flowers um, you know, my family, my family, which, you know, I really mean it, just my mom and I, uh, call this the Chinese lantern. Because it looks like a Chinese lantern that we have, you know. Uh, or the Chinese lantern may be copying this flower. They might, you know. Uh, I don't know what the ancient, you know, had decided. And so that's what we call it. And, um, and uh, my mom... Uh, um, and so I have never seen it in Hong Kong, but then, you know, uh, as I, you guys have um, already known me, those of you that have, um, when I was in Hong Kong, I was uh, mainly uh, just a child. I moved over here when I was 15 years old, so I don't really, and uh, I came from a very not well-to-do family. Um, we were very, very poor, and so uh, a lot of, of my existence when I was in Hong Kong was mainly I just work. 
you know, I either work at school, doing my homework, go to school, or I work at my father's factory. I hired myself um, out to a different factory when I was younger too. But, uh, you know, there was uh, a period of time where I tried to be a Girl Scout, and then my father had to pull me back because um, he needed me to my labor, right? My laboring time, and so I couldn't be a Girl Scout. And so now I'm just doing the same thing, okay? I'm just putting down a, a layer of yellow on all three, okay? I have the one, and this one, uh, you might think that is a kind of an arc shape, and that is my intention because I wanted a lantern that's facing that way, right? Uh, meaning, if this is the lantern instead of like this one facing this way, this lantern is like the back. Uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys, okay? And so I'm gonna paint, um, paint one on the back because, uh, you know, the variety really is good. I am not uh, quite used to very static, static, static paint, painting. That means, you know, I don't usually paint things that are all facing the same direction. That's just, uh, you know, my um, my composition. I like to do it that way, and uh, and also, you know. Um, one of the things that I've told you guys, if you wanted to, you know, be a full-time artist and, uh, you know, we're going around and we, uh, we need to look at reference picture, of course we do, or reference painting, you know, it is very good to learn to, as you learn to draw, then you can rotate, you can turn, or you can uh, just um, draw things that are facing any direction, then you don't have to really have to worry about copycatting people so much, right? And that is very, very important. Because, um, you know, I am an artist, but I'm a very, very uh, careful artist. What I do is I, I uh, really want to make sure I don't step into other people's toes. You know, I am an artist, I know how it feels, and so um, I don't like to do that. And uh, as I not do that, I need to be creative myself, right? And uh, I have um, also, wow, now the, the color that I just laid down had uh, mixed together. Now, at this point, I am going into the cadmium. Uh, red medium, okay? So I'm like beginning to paint the Chinese lantern. Okay, so um, I have never really seen uh, So uh, in order to make it easier for me and you guys too, I am going to put, uh, paint them in segment Okay, and then you see what I'm doing. Okay, so I loaded this with this uh, flow brush of mine It's uh, kind of stiff. It's stiffer than this um, than this uh, big one then this uh, uh, is not big one. None of them are big. Uh, that uh, happy dots, but um, I like the stiffness because I don't need a big area of this. So the stiffness is, you know, uh, is uh, easier for me to control things then so that it won't slop around so easily. Okay. So uh, because I'm painting this in segments, so I'm going to uh, do this part first. Okay, and then uh, just uh, let you. Uh, do this with me and see how it goes okay and so now remember the part that I told you we have to leave um, uh, the white white space okay as we're leaving this white space then we are you know showing the people that are looking at our painting that our painting is indeed a, a more three-dimensional uh, good uh, shape okay so there's a flat area, remember? I just uh, told you that, uh, I think, a minute ago. And now th that's how I'm painting. I'm trying to preserve that area. Okay? Now you can see that I uh, keep dipping my um, paint brush back into the cadmium red medium. It's because, um, as I always complain, I know I always complain, I find them a little hard for me to um, make the color with red really, really rich. Okay, and so if you want it to have a rich color, sometimes, you know, you, you can, okay, so this is what I'm doing, okay? While this is still wet, this is really, really wet, okay? I'm putting a little bit more, as much of the red as I can. And this is about as much as I can do it, okay? And so um, if I don't have enough of the um, uh, opacity or the, you know, intensity of the red that I want, I'm going to come back, which you will see in a second layer, Okay, to make it more more red, as red as uh, me as an artist. Okay, so what I just did is I use a clean brush and I pull that area out. So this area is kind of whitish, okay? And I wanted to keep the whitish area. And so what I'm trying to, you, of course you will have a painting right here to follow along. I'm trying to leave that white area out. 
you know, the reason is to give us the impression that it is that that area is actually facing the sun, right? And so it suddenly it turned right white, and it's quite beautiful. But I will come back and you know work on that again. Okay, so there will be like a band of white area that go from here to here and across here to here. Okay, and so that will give you that will be enough to leave the impression that oh yes, there's a there's a flat area right here, right, right here that is receiving the sun, okay? And I know that you guys know what I'm talking about because I talk about things like that all the time. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do is, because this is very, very, very wet, I don't know, of course you probably can't see it, but to me, it's very wet. So I'm going to leave this and this alone to give this the time to uh, dry, and I'm working on this one, okay? And on this one, I can have a little bit of a, a little bit of a red color coming out from the middle, okay? And don't worry, uh, the drawing of this uh, will be available for you, okay? Like usual, always, you know. Uh, sometimes it might take me um, a couple days <laughs> after the video is up for me to catch up on my blog, you know. I am not a very, uh, you know, I am, uh, you know, okay, just try not to condemn myself, you know, I am, uh, I'm good at uh, making sure that everything is done. How's that? Okay, but uh, sometimes it may take me a little bit. Okay, now I want this area, this area to be softened right here. Okay, and so I'm using that pink brush, which is totally clean, to pull this out so it has a soft edge over there. Okay, just like what I always do. Okay, I I put in some pigment. And I pull that out. Now why do I do that? Because there's still pigment on here, and I don't want to go clean this brush and have to wash off all the, all the nice, uh, beautiful red cadmium uh, red that I had just picked up, okay? And uh, so what I'm going to do is I will continue and looking at my, okay? So I say that there should be a band of right, white over there, right? And so this is what I'm going to do, okay? Connect that up, you know, to that area. But then I'm going to have a stop over here so that I can uh, pull in the Sorry, not pulling the. I put in some uh, red color over here, okay? Okay, now that's what I'm going to do, okay? Now, I, as we all, we all know, okay, uh, don't worry about it. Red is always a very temperament, it has its own temper. Probably not as temper as me, but it has an, its own temper, and so we're gonna just allow it, okay? Like it doesn't, sometimes it will just do these kind of thing, you know, it just uh, kind of disperse. It uh, it doesn't like to stay. Remember, um, I told you guys that purple, okay, purple like to stay and red like to say goodbye. Okay, so we try to remember that and uh, sometimes don't be too hard on ourselves. If it want to say goodbye, we'll just allow it. There's nothing we can do to force it to stay with us anyway. And so we do our best. <laughs> that's my joke. <laughs> if you guys get it, if you don't, that's fine. That's my uh, watercolor um, sorry attempt of a joke, okay? Um, we're just gonna let our red color do what it wants to do and uh, we will do our best to make it um, be happy with us, okay? And so I think that one of the thing with, um, if you're painting red, okay? One of the thing that you want it to do is um, you want it to have enough pigment so you don't have to keep uh, going to get more pigment and also while you are painting um, uh, try, uh, yeah, well, it's on the same line because if you go get more pigment and sometimes, you know, the the water level in the brush every time you dip this brush or clean it the water come out different, right? and so if you um, dip it too many times then you are introducing sometimes more water content into the into the uh, the pigment pool um, or on the face of the like now I'm I didn't clean the brush I just go right to my uh, cadmium medium right and just uh, go get some more uh, paint to intensify this little bit of an area okay um, it is good to like when you paint one segment try not to go clean it and dip it, even though you're just dipping in the pigment, there's water on your little dish or whatever bowl, and it will kind of change the intensity. So, and that is one of the reasons why I uh, 
I, I never like, okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm using my little finger and uh, trying this area and say, okay, is it dry enough? Because why, especially with red, we want it to be very, very dry, okay? Because the chance that I'm going, uh, now I'm going to come in here and do this part right here, right? And so I'm going to, with wet pigment and wet water, and if I, if this part is too wet, okay, I'm telling you a, a truth, is even though if it is not wet, the color will still trying to run away from us. But if it is wet, it will definitely run. Okay, so we're just gonna, um, because we know it, we know the red color. It doesn't matter if it's cadmium, red, medium, cadmium, red, deep, you know, whatever, it will try to run. It, that's just the way they want to do things, the red does. And so we're gonna, but red is such a color in nature, right? And so what I'm gonna do is like, I'm going to, you know, paint this area too, and then leave this area white, okay? And so I'm gonna come in here, and now this part is, is uh, already red, uh, drier, so the chance of that part running away from us is not as severe as maybe over here. So what is the moral of the day of uh, learning uh, as we learn to paint with red? I think the moral really is to learn to forgive ourselves. Okay? Learn to forgive ourselves if, uh, if you really don't manage it, you know. Now what I'm talking about is I'm talking about Daniel Smith professional watercolor, right? Um, but uh, I don't know, maybe uh, if we go out and use some, like, um, you know, cheaper watercolor paint, maybe they don't, they're not as fugitive as, as actually these more expensive ones. And so, I don't really know. You know, I think that it is in my goal that one day I'm going to go into what I sometimes mention, like I'm going to use um, things that are not professional watercolor and try to paint with you guys, uh, pick a painting and um, see how it goes, see how it turns out, right? And ju that's just for fun, okay? Now I'm dipping in and I'm, it's still wet, but I'm, I'm still trying to be brave, okay? But this is as brave as I'm gonna go. I don't, I'm not too brave. And so I'm gonna come up here and uh, now this brush is clean, no pigment, and I'm gonna come and pull out the, you know, and I need to do it quite dry too. I'm gonna pull out the pigment, okay? So do you see, I'm progressively, there's a little band of white here, and that white will let you see the, the form of the peach, okay? That is uh, more round instead of just a circle. It's a, I'm just trying to make it into a ball. And if I wanted to, I might uh, darken this down here area to make it more of a ball like. But, you know, with the line and the lights, I'm already seeing it. But you can see now, at this point, I'm more intense here because it's wet, but this part is quite dry and this part is quite dry. And I can see that I'm going to have to come back and um, just a little bit, not a lot, intensify that red, okay? I'm gonna, because I, you know, I'm painting with you guys, I wanted to, um, you know what though, let's just wait on here a little bit and work on this area, okay? Now this area, now you can see the stem that's coming down here, okay? Now I can actually, do I need to darken the stem so you can see it? Okay, now maybe I can just, now I'm using my pencil and I'm showing you. Now this drawing will be available for you. I'm just showing you, there is a stem there, okay? And so we're gonna work on this area. So meanwhile, while we're working, we have to leave the room for the stem. But if you are a little bit heavy handed and you got your red paint on there, don't worry because we're gonna use a very dark paint to paint the stem after we're done with the lantern, okay? And the, the Chinese lantern plant, I don't know, is this a fruit? Is that the seed? You know, because I know that, um, well, I, I'll uh, keep telling you the story of me and my mom. Anyway, um, so uh, don't worry if your red actually got into the stem because um, we're gonna come in and put a dark color over it and so it will not bother us. We will be able to paint over any mistake that you made, okay? Because I know that, you know, um, as we are beginner, we are trying to, um, very hard to do everything right, you know, whereas, you know, <laughs> you can see that some very, very uh, seasoned uh, artists, they just slap things around, you know, because they know what they can correct and what they cannot correct, okay? Now, but uh, you can see that I have put, leave some white, all right? I can pull, I pull out the pigment, so it's kind of like a little bit pigment white. The reason why is because it's the same, it's the light that we're trying to accomplish over here, okay? 
if you accomplish that, then you, for the viewer who is looking at it, they will know the roundness and not just the roundness. If it is uh, uh, like a peach, it actually goes in, right? I hope I don't have you guys all confused by now. But you know, my intention is very pure. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I am actually just, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, I am con constrained by my, um, how much uh, my language will allow me to explain things uh, thoroughly, okay? But uh, you know that I'm trying my very, very best um, to use what I know in my language to show you guys, um, you know, the best that I can share with you my skill, right? On top of it, while I'm painting. <laughs> but I have fun, don't worry, you know. And I'm not too hard on myself because I don't want to, you know, I wanted to keep a he happy and light heart when I am uh, painting with you guys because um, I, I truly do believe that uh, the power of um, doing art and painting, I believe uh, how beneficial it is for us. And I am a highly anxious person. I know that, you know, for a lot of years, uh, maybe I didn't understand why I behave a certain way, but uh, I do not uh, want it to, you know, I want it to be more lighthearted so that we can have fun instead of um, being hard on ourselves, right? Now, um, we can be hard on ourselves. Now I'm going to work on this one, this one. Yeah, let's work on this segment right here, okay? And uh, we can be hard on ourselves and we might be able to get ahead of ourselves, you know, I don't know, one year maybe if you're like perfectly hard on yourself and, uh, you know, uh, you know, I don't even know if that's I'm talking about the truth, you know, but um, or we can just um, be patient. How's that? Be patient with ourselves and uh, just know that we will progress, right? Eventually, progress is in our future. We will see it. It will come. It definitely will come because it's a truth. It's an eternal truth, right? As we practice, we will progress. Okay? So, the... 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 It's not necessary to beat up on ourselves. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? Too much, okay? Now, we can't be just too relaxed. We have to take steps, you know, to improve um, our skill. But just be sure that, you know, if we um, don't... Um, well, we can throw up our hand and then we go and take a break. That is normal and maybe it's preferred for some of you, okay? But do not be so hard on yourself that, you know, you want to totally throw in your towel and say goodbye, you know, because then that will be the end of us. Okay, and so um, while it's still wet, I'm going to push a little bit and put in a little bit of pigment, okay? So just realize that consistent and keep going, just like the turtle, we will get there. We will eventually get there. And so don't be, um, you know, so hard on yourself to give up, you know. Now, this is a big segment, okay? So you can see that I'm going to lay down my brush, okay? But I still wanted to leave some of the white here. Uh, maybe that will come out so this part can be dark, but some of the white should be over this part. Um, I, 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 I'm pointing with my brush so you can see that, okay? And then you see when I lay in the, uh, lay in the watercolor. And so that is my uh, two cents about uh, learning and about progress, you know? And so I, uh, I, don't, I don't want to be so anxious that, you know, um, it defeats the purpose of our learning, right? We want it to be happy as we learn and do not um, discourage ourselves. I think that is with life, with uh, many things that really is the way it is, you know. Um, you know, we, we, we need to discipline ourselves to work hard. But uh, we also need to take the time to take the breaks that we need. And uh, like if you get frustrated, you know, just go away for one day. You know, you and then come back and say, okay, I've breathed some fresh air, I'm ready to go. You know, sometimes it's okay that we run away from what is very, very hard on us, you know. But, um, uh, you know, but we come back to it. We're not going to uh, allow ourselves to get so discouraged by our, our own anxiety, you know. And so I am a very anxious person and I... I, I really can have a degree in my own anxiety. I know I know how I work. I know how hard I can be on myself sometimes, you know. 
And uh, I think we're all human and we are, after all, kind of the same. And so I, I love you and I wanted to, you know, kind of share my two cents with you, you know, and on how you, you know, how we beat ourselves, you know, and uh, not to deter our progress, okay? Because some what, I, what what good it is for me to be so hard on myself that I beat myself up so much that I hate what I'm doing, you know? No, you know, that wouldn't be a, a good thing. So just, um, you know, take your time and take things not so seriously, okay? You know, I used to take things so seriously even by being uh, on time. Look, did you see that? Okay, now you can see that this part now, because this is into the into the middle part, right, like an apple. So that part needs to be dark, and I'm going to do that next, okay? But this part we have accomplished, right? We kind of leave a band of white, you know, to fool the eye, to know that, uh, to look at it and say, oh, okay, that is, uh, that is what's happening over there, okay? So we need to, we need to do that. And guess what? If you can't accomplish it this time, then tell yourself, I'll do it again next time. You know, when I'm not so, uh, uh, when I'm not beating up on myself anymore or so tired about it, okay? Now, these are good, but it needs to be left alone, okay? As of right now, okay? Now, what I won't let alone is I'm going to go into some cadmium yellow medium and I want it to lay some over here. Okay, I want this part to be wider, and this part to be wider, and this part to be kind of white, but with some happy bright yellow going through it, okay? And then I'm going to do some in this area too, okay? Because uh, I'm now thinking about the, the, the logic of what the light is, how the light is going to shine, okay? Now this can be very, very white over here, because it's very close to the, you know, to the sunshine, right? Our imaginary uh, artist created sunshine, okay? And But I'm putting a little bit of yellow, so this white part is not that um, uh, boring. It's not that boring, okay? Yes, and we have to understand that it's through our practice that we do better, and not our beating up on ourselves, okay? Beating up on ourselves sometimes can can motivate us to practice, but a lot of time it can also motivate us to give up. And so we need to be a, more, a little bit more understanding to ourselves, okay? And not let it to do the reverse effect of what we want it to accomplish. You know, that wouldn't be very good, okay? So now when this is like kind of like a wet, wet thing, okay? Let's uh, go over to this lantern, okay? And I am going to try to actually pull that closer so you'll be able to see that a little bit better. Now, see, since this is our focal point, we were these two not uh, not even as uh, nervous, okay, about uh, making it like uh, nice and cool, okay? Uh, nice and, you know, less mistake, but you know, you know what I mean. Just, uh, you know, have fun and just lay down a color, okay? and not get too uh, nervous about it. Okay, so this is doing a segment. The branch is going through here. So that gives me a natural break. I can just work on this part. Just as long as the line, you know, will come through there in the correct uh, shape, then we're fine, okay? And uh, I'm going to leave some light on the very, very top here, next to the dark area. So anyway, um, this, uh, with this, <laughs> You know, it's kind of, you know, I am, a, I guess I must be a very sentimental person. I, when I decided to do this, I was thinking about my mom uh, because um, I, when I was an uh, adult child, I go to college and I, you know, go do things and I, there will, will be years that I don't get to see my mom, uh, mainly not because I don't want to see her, but it's because I uh, don't have the means, you know, I don't have money. I have to, when I stay in the dorm, I stay in the dorm. I hardly have enough money. Now I'm dropping some yellow in here just to make it look um, a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit more intense in the orange color, okay? So I, I, I'm doing red and I'm dropping yellow and I will come back and do some more. Now I know when to stop and this, when your paper is kind of wet, you know, you can see the slide already kind of puddle forming. You know, with the red color, it really is not productive to uh, keep doing it. Okay, and so I'm going to do this bottom because I wanted you to see how I carry the, the you know, this whole uh, thing through 
by passing by letting the branch pass through it right and so uh, I don't get to see my mom very often and so when I see her I, I just went and got some more pigment the red cadmium pigment okay and when I see her um, it's on very really rare occasion I got to see her a little bit more and now that you know it, uh, she's gone and uh, most of you know that my mom by 2020, in the beginning of the COVID time, we assumed that maybe she had COVID and died, but we didn't know, and the doctor said, just don't think about it anymore. Okay, just know that she's 90-some years old, it was her time to go, and we don't want to just um, be so uptight that we had to, you know, find out oh, what was the real reason that she was gone, and I think that she was right, she was a very good doctor. Now I just put some more yellow over there to make it more intense. You know, isn't that nice and pretty? Okay, so now I have to leave this alone and I'm gonna do this part, okay? And I keep telling you story, and so I, uh, when I finally, sometime finally get to see my mom, it's always very good, you know, because um, I don't like, you know, it's very hard for me to think about it because, you know, as I'm telling you these stories, I hope you guys know that it just come into my mind. I don't rehearse. It was sometimes I would want to tell you guys something and I will think about it. But, you know, as far as like when I'm talking about family is concerned, it really is, you know, I'm just thinking about my mom, you know, in this fall time. It's very nice out. It's fall and you know, sometimes I, when the season change, I do get sentimentals. I, who am I kidding? I'm sentimental all the time. <laughs> I am a very, uh, <laughs> you know, I think about family and uh, people and God and things like that a lot. Okay, so I wanted to go into some of the yellow and just put that, put that right next to the, uh, to the red. Okay, we can do that, and that is, uh, that is actually kind of pretty that we do that, and. Uh, so whenever I see her, it's very rare, and then I got to see her more as I grow up, because um, grow up meaning more in my 20s and 30s, because then at that point I either get married or I have uh, a little bit more money to go down to California to see my family. And uh, seeing my family is actually quite important to me. I don't talk about it very much, but I, I like to do it, you know, because that's just the way I am, you know. I like to see them, and I like to just hang out, you know, not not just with family, with my own, uh, uh, like, places where I grow up, where I have visited, you know, I'm just very, you know, I like memories, and I always dig into my memories and think about things, and so I like to think about things, and uh, that's, you know, how I, you know, live my life, and so I was thinking about the first time I was introduced to these flowers was through my mom. Yeah. Uh, one time I get to see her and I, I looks like it feels like it was in Las Vegas. I think it was in Las Vegas because there was uh, a point where the, when my um, okay I'm gonna work on this one okay and even less detail okay I, I I always thought maybe I put in too much detail okay now talking about too much detail let's go in with uh, intensify the the yellow should we okay over this side okay so I wanted to put a little bit more yellow so I take some yellow from my paint uh, from my um, palette that's right over here and then I the cadmium yellow medium and I'm gonna brush some more on there why is that because uh, it actually yellow is such a you know light color it actually make the the lantern more make like like the light there's light coming from behind Okay, so it make it more trans, not transparent, translucent, how's that, okay? And so we are, I'm going to work on this, uh, the same doing in segment, okay? Uh, okay, let me turn this off and turn it I always on. Go in, I always go in and turn off and turn on because I know um, it's hard for the camcorder to just do um, everything in one shot, right? I don't, actually, I know that it's actually not quite necessary because um, if my video is going too long, the camcorder, like the canyon that I'm using right now, will actually go in there and uh, and break it into two for me. It's, it's actually quite good, and I'm I'm glad, you know, I just let it do it. Okay, and so the color will be a little bit less intense, and uh, still I think need to be more intense, but I know that that is sufficient of the red puddle that I've made over there okay so go in and soften the color and then work on this this uh, batch over here and so uh, I, oh, I saw my mom and I 
talk to her and uh, and then uh, she actually at one time uh, bring the seed of this uh, I think uh, other than calling a Chinese, a Chinese lantern it's also called Phasalus Phasalus okay if I'm wrong then you guys know I'm wrong I'm trying you know I, I I'm trying to say it right but um, anyway so she had the seed and she told me and she said I have seen a flower that is very very pretty uh, take this back to Utah and see if you can grow it and um, and so I went and looked up the property and I know that Utah is uh, not a very uh, friendly environment for this. And so I didn't plan it. I just uh, checked the seed, you know. And uh, my mom never pursued and asked me about it anymore. The next time I saw her, she probably knew I can't do it. You know, I am not. Actually, I, uh, I'm more of... Uh, you know, I can plant things and I, I can grow tomato enough that I can eat. But, you know, I'm not like that good. I'm not as a green thumb as my father. My father is like very, very good. Uh, when he plants, he can do cherry. Oh, he can just uh, roses. You know. You know, he's just very, very, you know, very, very patient when it comes to, not with us. He's not patient with us. He's very patient with his plant. Um, and so he grow very very successful you know uh i i think i have told you in oregon in salem oregon we actually used to own a chinese restaurant he you know and people used to like when they come to eat they actually park at the back of the restaurant where my fa father has all the trees and the flower and just admire his flower and when he has enough uh, rose to do cut flower he'll cut it into a bouquet you know and it will be a big bouquet and the customer used to just love it but anyway, my mom was the one that introduced me to this, uh, what I call the Chinese lantern, right? I probably should not do the middle, but then what should I do? Yeah, let's do that part, okay? And so uh, she was the one that introduced this flower to me. And like I say, since I am quite a sentimental person, sometimes I think about her, you know, and I think about fall and I see image of this and I say, you know what though? I think this is the time where I paint this painting. And as I was practicing, then I had time you know I like uh, I told you I like to live in my memory you know I I can just like sometimes I stay in space and maybe I don't really notice it myself you know I uh, that's how I enjoy myself you know I enjoy memories you know I let myself dig into my memory bank and you know okay I'm li leaving a little strip of white over there okay so that you know it's the same thing as this you know I'm trying to you know, let the viewer see that I am, you know, this is uh, going up, you know, like a bloom going up and this is the top part, okay? So when it's white, you can feel that the sun is shining on there, okay? And so it's giving it the illusion of this is a, there's a flat area over there, a flat area. So, sorry, not fat, flat, F-L-A-T. And so, um, yeah, and so as I was practicing this painting, I think about my mom a lot. I think about uh, the time I visited her in Las Vegas because um, her sister died of uh, cancer. And so her uh, her sister, before she died, told her husband that she can actually ask my mom to come and take care of him. My mom's sister is um, quite jealous of a person, you know, uh, if I may, you know, justly, you know, say something like that, you know, my aunt. Um, you know, of course, I wasn't ever her favorite. I don't know if uh, anybody is ever her favorite, but, you know, my mom certainly was not her favorite. She actually, but then she, her love for her husband, she knew that when her husband died, he needs someone. And when she died of uh, colon cancer, her husband needs someone to take care of him, right? And so she said that, okay, you can go get my sister to come. And so my, my mom was able to live in Las Vegas for uh, quite a long period of time. And during her time, my, my, my aunt, my uncle is a, what they call a high roller. I think you guys know what a high roller is. He, he go into gamble in the casino and he gambles so much money. <laughs> it's funny, I need to tell you this story. He, he gambles so much money that uh, the casino will give him a room to stay for free. And because he gambles so much money, the room that he stay is not just a regular room, he get the sweets. And so it's huge sometimes, you know. And so because it's so close to me, sometimes I go see my mom. A six-hour drive. I drive down here to go to Las Vegas to see her. 
and um, because usually she was in Los Angeles and that's hard that's a long drive and my husband has problem with his back so we don't like to drive for very long six six hours a day is uh, our happy time anything more than that um, is hard on my husband's back and so I okay so this is like kind of kind of done really the color and so I'm gonna finish this two patch okay and then I'll put in the branch hopefully I won't be so long but I know that I'll be long because I'm telling stories too and anyway so um, my aunt uh, allow my mom because she knew that my mom had let my left my dad you know she, my mom and dad never see eye to eye for many many years and so finally she just left and uh, she went down so she was able to be with my uncle you know, they feel like kins, you know, really. And so she, she went down and take care of him. And, uh, and it was a good deal for my mom because then um, she's able to go to the casino with my uh, uncle. And like, you know, she, she just played the slot machine. My uncle is the high roller. He, he just really liked to gamble. And uh, uh, he's not, you know, in my own faith, of course, you know, we don't, we don't gamble. Um, but I will go visit her, and uh, and that was good. But uh, I was grateful that my aunt actually allowed that to happen. Um, my mom is actually very, very pretty. I think my aunt is very, very pretty. And if I may judge, because I am, I always like to judge beauty, you know, because that's just a pastime that I like to do. I think my mom has a sweeter look to her, and my aunt has a very classic look to her, uh, a classic beauty, you know. Um, and so it's different, but they're both beautiful, I think. And uh, and uh, but my my aunt can uh, look very very angry. Eh, so can my mom. <laughs> but when my mom is angry, she doesn't look that scary. I was never scared of my mom. I'm more scared of my dad. And uh, but I think they're both very very pretty. And uh, and uh, when I have time, I probably are not going to do it now. I will tell you more about my. My grandma, maybe I already have told you and I have forgotten and so I can retell the story and I'm, I'm uh, thank you you guys ahead of time for allowing me to do silly things like that because um, I do like to tell you about family things. Families are important to me. I like to, you know, always think about remembering them. Okay, and now I'm beginning to see that I need to say, hey, hands off, okay? Kathy, you are trying to mess up with this uh, thing. So I'm going to let that dry, okay? Because the, the red is like running, running uh, area to area because it's being uh, kind of wet. And good thing it's not the, you know, the focal point, right? And so it's not uh, so much of my skill, you know, it's my skill of dealing with red color, okay? So I'm going to let that part go and then come and try to put a, a, a thick layer of uh, cadmium red medium into that area, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. And so I never did uh, plant, uh, re, uh, plant this, you know, but I, you know, I, I see that this is a very, very pretty. I've seen that um, either in LA, you know, area, and so I know how they look like, but uh, I just uh, probably don't have the privilege of uh, raising this plant here. I have never seen you know, any garden here in Utah, okay? So do you see that I have uh, paint more intensely, okay? And I'm going to go here slightly. I'm very, very, very slight with my paintbrush because if I push it down and bear down on the paper, I run the risk of, um, I run the risk of uh, moving the, the first layer, okay? Now I'm gonna, I just go pick up some yellow, okay? And then I pull this color out and that's all. And that is the two layer that I'm gonna go and the, I, I can say that the color is intense enough for me, okay? Now, so I have the foundation of the uh, three of them pretty much done for now, okay? So what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, <laughs> you can see that this is bothering me and my mind keep telling me to come back here and, you know, fix the line, which I know that I have to wait until it dries, right? And so this area where, okay, you can see that the, Okay, the lantern, you know, look like this, right? The seat look like this, and it has this little part over here, okay? And so 
this little part is that little part, but it's being covered by the peach light form in the top, okay? But still, I need to paint that part, but not right now, because right now, this is very wet, okay? I'm going to leave that alone. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my my beautiful uh, fine brush, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pick up the... Oh, let's wet it. I forgot to wet it. Um, uh, the burn orange. Uh, the burn umber color okay so it's a very very dark burn umber but burn umber seems to go quite good with red so I'm gonna drop in a little bit of red into my burn umber that you can hardly notice okay and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right now do the rich the rich color rich meaning the edge okay so this is wet I can't do that okay so I'm gonna do this one okay this this little part and so you can see that as I do that, and it looks more and more like the, the, the flower itself, the lantern flower, okay? Uh, no, the seed, actually, so sorry, I keep saying that it's flower. But you know I mean the seed, okay? The, the seed part, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna, you know, use this to build it up so it looks like it's, uh, it's rising. is uh, being on the top, okay? So how am I going to do this? So after I lay in a little bit of a uh, uh, burn umber color, I'm going to go in and pick up some of my cadmium red medium and pull that out, okay? And put that right next to the brown color, okay? And so what I do is I intensify the color next to it, you know, and then it looked like it's... Uh, you know, it's uh, rising out as as this Chinese lantern flower's characteristic is. Okay, so I need to do some over here, okay? And in that little area over there. It's very, very fall now. And uh, so this, uh, this, uh, <laughs> look at my brush, okay? So you guys uh, don't need to worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of thing doesn't bother me that my brush is actually not uh, looking like a sharp point, okay? I know where the point, most pointy area is and I will go and use that area, okay? So you guys don't need to worry. But sometimes I just like, I love to laugh at myself at how my brush look like on camera. It must be really funny to you guys that uh, I don't like make sure that now I'm going to going in with the cadmium red medium okay and put that right next to the brown same same as what I just do here okay so that it will look like a rich because it's like a gradation of color right it going from the brown to the red okay so it looks like it's rising and I think you can you guys can see the dimension right especially when I put this oh my goodness this little angle right here and you can even like you know that will let you guys see how that actually you know, that's what artists do. You know, we have all these like things that um, help us to uh, make things look right. And uh, so I'm going to do a little bit over here. Now, this doesn't need to be that, that much because it's, it's not a side view. It's actually, you know, um, you're looking down on it. And so it doesn't need to be a ridge. It just needs to be there. Okay, so it exists, it doesn't need to rise up because you probably can't see the rise up anyway if you're looking down from, you know, looking down at this seat part, right? But you can see the change in color there and it's pretty. And uh, so yesterday I actually had the chance to, my husband was nice, he took some, a little bit of time off from school. Uh, well, he finished his week of teaching, and so he took me on a hike to the Uinta. The Uinta, like, is about uh, an hour drive from where we live, right here. Okay, so see how pretty that is? And so he took me there just uh, so that we can uh, look at the change in the foliage, and that was very, very pretty. And so we went on the hike. The hike was very long, and uh, I'm getting old. But I see a lot of different color and I was very happy, you know, to see those uh, change in the foliage, right? I love the, you know, the chance to be able to go out and look at things like that in the fall. It's very important to me. So fall is a very intense um, of a hiking season for uh, my family. And we try to use every um, available weekend that we have, you know, coupled with my husband. He's very, very busy. And so... Uh, 
if he can, he will try to go with me because when the foliage change, the foliage change, you know, and then, and then the, you know, our environment become uh, different. You know, I would say, so if that, uh, you guys agree with me, it become different, but not, not beauty, you know, but we do love the color. And so I go out and look at the color a lot, you know. And uh, hopefully when my husband is not as busy in the future years, which I have no idea, I really don't. Um, you know, in our church, we serve our God. And so we have things that we needed to do, you know, administration or whatever, or just a teacher, you know. And sometimes we don't get to go out and play as much as we wanted to. And, and it's fine with us, you know, because that's the way we wanted it to. You know, when we're, the way we felt like is we, if we are being called to do certain things, like, you know, being the leader, you know, I, my job is responsible for temple, attending the temple. And so we uh, do things like that. And, uh, and sometimes we don't do the things that, you know, we have to give either here or there, right? And sometimes we have to give up and not be able to go hiking as much. And uh, that's okay, you know, with us because we believe that that's uh, the right thing for us to do, you know. And so, uh, but this autumn, I think we will be able to do a little bit more. No, not a little bit more, actually, not as much. But uh, I told him maybe next week, try to make time to do one more. And also, you know, okay, now what I'm going to do is like deepen this area, okay? Just like the, an, an, an apple, sorry. You know, you want this area to be nice and dark, right? Because then you can see that it recede and go into there. And so the same thing, I'm just going to, I can do that in blue, but I'm going to do, um, oh, let's do that in blue. I'm going to do burnt orange and mix with a little bit of uh, pink gray. Okay, so burnt orange and pink gray will make a very, very dark color. Okay, and so I'm going in here. And so uh, to darken this area so you can see that the effect that I'm trying to accomplish, right? It's dark, so I just let it be dark and so Ah, uh, this is good enough, okay? And then I'm going to soften the edge because I have to because it... Uh, so I'm going to use a drier brush, you know, I don't want a brush that has been very wet. So I'm going to use this uh, kind of number two brush and soften the edge, okay? Okay, so how, how do you... how does that look? It does give you, you guys the three-dimensional that you needed to see, right? Of that part that going in there, okay? And so I call that accomplished. Now I'm going to mix up some uh, burnt umber with some red. A little bit more red. And the burn, then the burnt umber and put this little, little tip right here, which is that part, okay? And the reason why it's darker is because it's uh, the... The the main part of the pot here is a casting a shadow on here, okay? But still it's there and we need to paint it, okay? You see that? Ooh, that was almost at the edge. I hope you can see that, okay? Now let's go in there and uh, I am going to use this as a small brush and put in a little bit more red, okay? Now I am I'm really used, talking myself into not... Uh, being too uptight about this part, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and slap down the color, okay? Now why do I do that to my own brain? Because I I knew that this is the back of um, the back of a seat pot that's further away from us, and even though you know, as an artist, I wanted to I uh, put more much detail in here, but I know that for the good of the painting, I need to just kind of be let go losing my shoulder and you know and not uh, being too uptight about here so I won't be doing too much detail over there because uh, I want it to be consistent with nature right okay I just drop a uh, big drop of uh, I have a lot of light around me so I have to be very careful I hit them and you can hear that I just hit my light on my on my left <laughs> yeah but that's okay because then, you know, with this camcorder, I like it very much, but it needs a lot of light. So I'm putting a lot of light on, on my painting. It's shining on me and my painting. Not on me so much, but it's shining around me and I need it to, um, 
you know, good thing is fall, right? Because in the summer when I'm filming, it really is kind of hot. Okay, so I'm just uh, putting down the red color without um, uh, being too uptight about it. But still, I need to put in the burn umber for the rich, the rich RID, RID GE, the rich of the of this uh, seat part, okay? Because it is there, and so I need to paint that, but not in too much of a detail, okay? So that you can see it, it's consistent, you can tell that it is the Chinese lantern plan, but you don't want it to be so detailed that, you know, you're trying to do this run, right? Now, this month is um, October, right? And so I'm going to, you know, like um, Monday or tomorrow, I'll upload the owl painting. The owl is a four owl with Aspen. So I, if I may say so, it's quite pretty. And then I will upload this video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a crow. And then I want to do a spooky moon. And so we'll see if all those will come to pass. And that will be my agenda for this month. Now, um, you know, if I'm looking and I'm thinking about this carefully, what I needed to do right now is, uh, you know, of course I'm, <laughs> I'm always push of time, right? <laughs> I'm going to put on the branches, okay? Now, I wanted to make this look a little bit prettier. And so I'm going to go use my little brush and darken this a little bit, okay? Because I just want it to be a little bit prettier. Okay? The darker area maybe to be a little bit wider, okay? And uh, so there it is. And so let's uh, go in and let's... Uh, oh, I think I use this brush because the, the branches are so small. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and now I'm mixing sepia with a little bit of burnt umber. So it's a little bit consistent because there's so much uh, brown color here, okay? I'm using a little bit of sepia. No, actually a little bit more sepia and a little bit less burnt umber. So this branch become a, quite a dark branch, okay? I'm going to do the one that is at the back first. Okay, it, uh, it can just uh, come out of nowhere. Okay, it's uh, what I always do, and then you guys can see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the darkest shadowy part, you know, of the of the branch. Okay, and then after that, and then I will come in and clean the brush, and then pull out a little bit of the area, and that's how I. Do the branch okay pull out a little bit of the dark area and just keep pulling and uh, keep pulling and soften that line okay and if i say oh it's just too you know it's not dark enough then i'll go back in the sepia mixture and then drop some color here and there okay and that's very very pretty way of doing a branch okay and so that branch is quite done and i'm going to do the uh, extension there's going to be a leaf coming out here but I want the branch to keep going to keep going and then uh, okay so today is the 30th and tomorrow is October 1st which is uh, what they call the Inktober and so what I really wanted to do is to participate, and uh, I'm going to use Chinese ink. So it's really no difference than watercolor, but it's just Chinese ink, and I'm going to do some really uh, abstract, uh, some of them, uh, or and then some of them I'm going to use my ink brush and uh, do some ink. And so, um, and those might be YouTube shorts, and so you guys can just go and enjoy it and see how I slap things around. <laughs> uh, slap paint and slap ink and uh, some of my earlier years of uh, painting style, okay? I really love those. But I don't know, this is my intention now. Of course, because of uh, what I'm doing now, I can't do that every day because that will compromise my um, ability to do these, right? And so uh, I'm not going to do that every day, but I think I will do at least uh, three, four shorts for the Inktober. Okay, that's my kind of like my uh, not solid promise right now that I'm going to do that and so that you guys can just have fun. Those are not meant for tutorial, but just meant for, oh, let's see how Kathy slapped color together when she was younger. You know, when she learned, uh, first learned how to do uh, painting. And so that will be, uh, 
maybe I'll do some of those, okay, for you guys to see. But um, if sometimes, now I'm going to do this line right here that I didn't see or kind of forgot, you know, to let this lantern look like it has a, it has a dark area too, okay? Okay, I just did that. And so, um, you guys can have fun watching that, would you? You know, I hope you support me and go watch those shorts and, you know, and uh, see if you like those, you know. I wanted to, you know, uh, kind of hear what you guys think about things I do, you know. If you nobody likes them, then I'll do them less. If people like them, then I will do them more, you know, just, uh, but it's just enjoyable for fun, okay? So you guys can uh, just go and uh, I'm going to do that. I need to film that. The filming is the same, but I will cut them or speed them up so that they look like shorts, right? The YouTube shorts. I think that might be kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to do this branch that's going into the main lantern and crossing over the other two, okay? The same way, very, very easy and, uh, and kind of, you know, don't worry about it too much. You know, because the color is dark, and so when it's going by the lantern, it will cover up, you know, some of the mistake if you did make some mistake over there. I'm sure you guys didn't make any mistake, not like me, right? <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, and so don't don't uh, worry about it too much, okay? And then now I'm going to use a more dilute, like watery kind of, uh, watery kind of, you know, brush, and then, you know, uh, come over here and do that and then I realized that hey at this at this area there's not enough um, of the uh, of the branch color the sepia plus burn number right and then I will just go in and then I will add some more okay these are just branches okay so we're not going to um, be too worried about them loosen up our shoulder and just say okay I'm just gonna do this loose loosely okay Loosely and fast. Well, I have to do it fast. You guys don't have to. Like I'll, you, you understand that. I always say that. Okay, just let me, let me deal with the time. And you guys, uh, if you struggling or say ah, it doesn't look good, then just take your time. Pause. Um, you know, and then just uh, do your thing, and then come back and catch up with me. Okay, just let me worry about the time constraint of. Uh, all the uploading and editing, you know, of what it has to be done with YouTube. But you guys just really take your time and just learn and not get anxious. No, no competing with yourself or with time or anything, okay? And uh, truly enjoy the process. And uh, <laughs> you have to listen to me. I hope that's enjoyable. You know, I can tell you some stories sometimes, you know. And... Uh, and uh, just, uh, you know, have fun doing that, okay? Yeah, so we went hiking and I, wow, it was just a lot of fun. You know, I like to, I, I we look at a lot of lakes because the, the place where we went yesterday, we couldn't go during the summer. It was a mosquito uh, heaven. And so, you know, me and mosquito doesn't like each other. They, they, when I get bitten by mosquito, I think it's my immune system, okay? I will have a big boil and a big uh, shape that's formed like an egg, you know, on my skin. It's an allergic reaction, I think. And so, but who's not allergic to mosquito? Anyway, some people are not, you know, and I really, you know, I'm very envious of those people, and but I am, and so we go in September, the end of September, where the mosquitoes are all gone. I guess they died, they must have died. And so my husband and I can go, and there's no mosquito, and so we can go, there's a lot of lakes on the mountain, and so we can see the lakes, and it's very pretty, and I really like them. Okay, so that stem that just went into that lantern, I just put that in there, okay, quickly. Okay, okay. Uh, it looks like I wanted to put a stem there. I don't know why, but if I did, then do I want to put a stem there? Okay, I will. And so what I'm doing is the same thing. I'm picking up this uh, sepia color plus uh, burn umber, okay? And so this stem come from this, it looks like. That's what I, you know. Sometimes I don't remember why I draw certain things. 
And so I, uh, I kind of wanted to tell myself, okay, you, uh, you go along with your first decision. There must be some reason. Because if I don't follow along, then I might regret it, right? And I said, oh, that is why I push. I put that stem there. I wish I had listened to myself, right? And so, <laughs> you know, I put that stem right there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I have this leaf over here. And uh, I am like right before you, I do not want to follow my decision because I just find out that that leaf and that leaf is right next to each other. Okay, so I'm just going to um, use maybe, you know, I'll do this uh, quickly. Okay, I'm going to use just uh, a minute or two and do some leaves and then I will do, uh, do some background color. And then I'll say goodbye. Okay, because I think that this is uh, fun and... Um, Unless there's something that I forgot, I don't think so. And then uh, I'm going to just uh, do uh, quickly do a couple leaves. These leaves are very uh, abstract because they don't. And so I'm going into my green mix with uh, with my uh, with my happy dot brush that uh, some of you might have bought, and it's not necessary. And uh, and then I'm going to just uh, put a couple uh, of uh, leaves over here, you know, so that you know because. Oh, okay. This was what I'm. I was thinking too. Okay, from what I can see in the um, in uh, all the images, by the time this plant form the seed part, which is this beautiful lantern color, uh, most of the le leaves have already uh, shriveled and withered away. Okay, if those are words that uh, I just made up. You know, they are not there anymore, but still, it is very good to have uh, some kind of a green color to uh, bring out this uh, beautiful autumn color, okay? Uh, and so, that's why I'm doing a couple of leaves. And I know that there will probably be a couple of leaves that are dying that are still left on the branch, but not really a lot. They're usually just the branch and the pod. And so... Um, but, you know, it's good to have leaves because leaves, you know, uh, Chinese has a saying, saying about, you know, peony, do good or, is it peony? Um, it needs some green in the back to bring out the, the color because it's just too much red or orange or yellow, right? Just by itself. So, we're going to do so. Okay, we're going to do some, um, a little bit of uh, green color, but not, uh, not so much you know, because we don't, um, uh, not so leave, let's just say that. But we're going to just put a green, put a, a background color in there, okay? So I'm just like drawing this leaf out of nothing, okay? It's just, this just, uh, just come out of my head, okay? And I might drop a little bit of yellow in there. I don't want the leaf, the more yellow you drop into the leaf, the more intense it become. Okay, because yellow is a color that is more in your face, right? And uh, we don't want that, okay? We don't want, um, but uh, indigo plus uh, pink's gray is a, is a green color that is not in your face because it's very bluish, okay? And so that's what we wanted to concentrate because this bluish color, if we do that in the back, then it will bring out the red color, okay? And I'm going to do a little uh, bit of a suggestion of a leaf over here, okay? It's nothing like a real leaf. Um, but it's a suggestion so that you say, oh, okay, there are a couple of leaves left. And this is my way of sneaking green and blue and yellow into the back, okay? Now, because I have suggested the, these uh, green leaf here, then you can actually see that, you know, when I am uh, in just a minute, okay, which is about right now, um, I'm going to just uh, put green and bluish uh, color in the background just a little bit and then maybe I'll drop some burnt orange to suggest that there are more lantern flower and then that will be it that will be the the end of our painting okay so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start from this area okay I'm going to do some indigo and I'm going to just uh, do some of it and then I'll say goodbye to you okay oh did I say this area yeah this area because you know why because this is uh, still around the focal point okay so I want some of the blue to be here to bring out the background of the of this uh, lantern in the front. Okay, isn't that pretty? 
Now, and also we can actually slightly, ever so slightly, direct some of this blue into the lantern. Okay? You know that I do that a lot. You know, I like to use the background to blend in the color because then it looks like uh, the back of the lantern is mingled and mixed into the, into the atmosphere that's behind it. Okay? And that's very nice when you're painting nature, okay? Okay, you see that? I'm just like quietly, and uh, not quietly, I mean uh, gently, sorry, that's the word, gently. I'm pulling this color out, okay? So that you know that there's an atmosphere behind it, okay? Now, um, I just want to do a little bit of fun. At this point, I want to drop some uh, cadmium medium mixed with the yellow color, it's kind of orangey, okay? I'm just gonna drop that in there. And so what does that suggest to your eye? You can tell me, right? That suggests to your eye that Kathy is trying to tell me there is a lantern right there, right? And so I can uh, take a clean brush here and then uh, kind of come in and soften the edge, okay? So it's not so sharp because as I soften it, the shape is still there and you can still see that. Kathy is trying to tell me that there is a lantern flower there and then I come back with some blue Okay, and this is how I like to do my background, okay? Okay, so you can see that there's a lantern there, can't you? Okay, this part is actually quite fun, actually, if I may say so. Quite fun of my painting, okay? Okay, I'm going to go back over here a little bit and do some of the that uh, indigo color to bring out the red, okay? I'll park it right next to the red and the green. And all the while, be, be, be very kind of careful because this red, if you touch it too much or the water is too wet, it will come out. It will try to come and say hi to the blue because that's what red does, right? It tries to run away. It get bored with wherever you put it. <laughs> you know, and then say, okay, I'm done. I'm going to run away. Okay, and that's it. And so I am very grateful that you guys uh, were here with me to uh, do this painting. I might like finish that and then splash some uh, uh, orange yellow color on the on the background, okay? And then I will oh, I will just uh, go and finish this uh, this uh, background a little bit, and then uh, we will we will see you in the next painting. And please subscribe and thank you. And I think you can do it, okay? And uh, have fun and keep painting along with me, okay? And I love you and thank you for coming and stopping by. We'll see you in the next painting.